Alright folks, we're back. So uh, I managed to reinstall a bunch of uh, different mods and we also installed a couple of challenge mods too, particularly dungeon ones. So I'm going to try to challenge myself and make sure I never touch the mod bank again because we have so much shit and every time I check it whenever I have a lot it makes me type in my email or it tells me that you know I don't have enough memory blah blah blah. You know, so if anything is rather shitty. So you have all these other special things I don't care about anymore and I'm sure that some things may have been pulled from my inventory or maybe some followers are just going to be glitched out which may or not crash my game if I try to give them stuff I think the last time I played I had like a, a high elf follower from Warwick's Dead something like that I, I don't remember and I forget if I was in the Void Armory, if I was in somewhere else. I think I was trying to sleep or something. I don't remember. But, yep. It's nighttime now, so I will be trying to talk a little bit less than again last night. I was fucking talking until like fucking 2 or 3 a.m. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. And plus, I haven't talked all day. So. Good time to test out my voice. That's one thing that's different about my introverted life now versus when I was a kid. When I was a kid, like, I was talking, and I'm like, oh, I'm tired of talking, there's so many people at this party, oh my god. And now I'm at the point where I'm like, hmm, I, um, one million. Uh, yep, I have no head. <laughs> I think that's because the wearable hoods mod got reinstalled and uninstalled. Uh, let's get all my things yep awesome i think we still have that mod of uh the the open the door thing let me go check also let me see something real quick did i drink on my mountain dew already i think i did i mean that container is fucking empty oh never mind we have a backup Whew. You know, some of you guys are addicted to uh, cigarettes or drugs. So I'm more of a caffeine guy. But, like, uh, I, I've gone months sometimes without it. So I'm like, all right, you know, I gotta save money. You know, I, 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 I gotta rank it up. So, like, until I get, like, a big paycheck, or let's say I wait for two paychecks, and I go, okay, we have 300 to treat myself besides paying bills. And it's like, what do we want to do with it? I'm like, well,. We want to save at least over 200, but I want to use something for 100, so I'm just 100 spending money. So when 100 can go to, like, you know, getting a new game, which is probably 60 bucks, or I could just get some Skyrim Creation Kit stuff. No, vice versa. Uh, but let me see where this is. So the helmets. Uh, so here's the special mods we got. Yeah, what the hell it was. Oh, look at that. I'm not updating this mod any longer. <laughs> I guess that guy had a lot of problems and then he just said, fuck it. I am done. So like, I don't care about any emails. It's like, I'm changing my email. Fuck everybody. I can get it though. People are spamming you. Like, oh, I'm having an issue. Oh, right, here we go. Ring of unlocking. Yeah. Right, let's quick save. This way we have a save file here. And yeah, I see that the Tullius armor is gone. Still here. Of course. Let's see. Because he might have like a empty. Look at that, his uh default armor is reset. <laughs> I would imagine. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna see strike with the made if I have a small chance of being paralyzed. Sure. Sven could use some armor. I just hope that me passing shit over Let's to get these guys doesn't then. crash my game. Like this is the follower who I'm worried I'm about. Right behind you. She had the uh Of course. Corrupted pieces. Yep. Uh, let's see. So, yep, yeah, she's doing alright, which is good. Cool. Let's get going then. Right, Lady so. God, watch over Do I get to keep it? <laughs> ah, just kidding. Proud Spire Manor, what? Holy arrows. God damn. Alright. Uh, let's see. I 
suppose I'll give you something. You, this guy is kind of a mage, so let's give you that. Ah, oh, good. Wait, what? And so he completely ignored my armor. He said, "Fuck it, my default's better than your shit." <laughs> Thanks. Lead on then. Yep. Cool. And uh, I should probably fix my character. I mean, we have a lot of inventory to go through, but... Yeah, let's go see if I have some kind of helmet. Just something that can warm me up or whatever. Let's go scan it through for a uh, warm rating. As I think we still have the helmet thing. I just need to go get it again. Because I think after it going away and coming back... That's why it's kind of herp derp Let's go see if the warmth does change at all. Because I wonder if uninstalling or something and then bringing it back would keep it on my inventory, maybe. I don't even know, to be honest. Yeah, this thing has to go. I think we tried to disenchant all this stuff, so this should be able to go. Maybe. I don't think I saw a single thing say so warmth plus. So 185 is probably one of the limits. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about being headless, but... It's certainly different. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a body. I'm a little body, short and I stuff. wonder what became mm -hmm. of Saint. Ah, so you're an alchemist <laughs> then. Oh, well, it's just nice to see but Bed actually wears clothes this time. So yeah, she was glitched out, so I was like, nope, get away from me. Cause I uh, half the time that uh kids mod where like you enhance the um armors like uh, you find the orphanage kids wearing stuff like this you know I did that just because I wanted you know them to have cool outfits too you know I just went around with like fucking basic ass like oh look at my cloth clothing look at me you know, I was just trying to pimp them out you know this way of to go hey you wanna dom me right I look like a guild master it's just like yes I do but uh yeah also that mod takes up a lot of space so yeah Everything I currently have downloaded, I'm completely fine with keeping. I don't need anything else. No. Alright, here we go. I think I have to deselect that or something. Hmm. Yeah, let's actually sell that. Just bring back my face. Until next time. Nice, look at that. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Now we go all the way back up. I mean, we still have plenty more armor to go. You know, there's quite a few people we need to talk to, we need to get their armors, blah blah blah. Speaking of that, let me see what the Nightingale Hood does. Let's see, that does 185 as well. It looks pretty neat, but I think the Daedric one can be buffed out. The uh, Nightingale one can be buffed out too, but it doesn't, it doesn't look as cool. Let's go back with the uh, Daedric. And I'm going to keep looking for... Oh, wait, what? So this helmet erases my face. Pardon? <laughs> Alright. I guess I'll just keep looking for a kill helmet then. If I could. Uh, I'm down for a little bit of style. <laughs> we don't need to be the most warm character. Yep. Fuck it. Why not? Let's get rid of all these. I'm trying to be like a janitor with this place where I just clear out everything. Eventually I'm going to sell everything over time, but you know, it's going to be some work. This tile room shit. There's a lot of rings and half of these too. Yeah. So more stuff to make me over encumbered. And let me see how much health we got. So we got 500. It's a quick save. Oh. Fake lava. That. Sometimes those things don't like give you bad stuff. They're actually quite nice. They really added the water sound effect, that's for sure. <laughs> like all you hear down there is just water, water, water. Now originally before I installed other mods, uh this place was very um like, you could actually get hurt from the lava. It was interesting. Uh, also, I think I have the research key. Oh, here's the uh, lost note. Here's 
so I need the rest of the supplies and weapons I order possible if I haven't finished the research. Okay. Interesting. Yep, in we go. I forget what's all here, but... Yeah. The goal of this journey is just to get as powerful as possible. Yeah. Eventually we'll make my way to the Void Armory though, but... Oh well, not, not the Void Armory, the uh... The donation place. Tidings. What the fuck? Of course. Uh, yeah. Let's see what you got on. Ours is to follow. Of course. It's pretty neat though. We can have a drawer and master as a follower. Just imagine that lady is guidance. probably gonna leave. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Hello, sir. This guy doesn't have anything, does he? The yeah, reason why I'm doing this though, I just want to see like what everybody has on them, including merchants, you know, so this way we can see everything for what it is. Uh, let's see. Hello. Ah, cool, I can make him a follower. Look at that. Huh. Get a little book work. That's funny. <laughs> Gonna be a lot better follower than a fucking mix. That's a research chest. Uh huh. Cover and mace on technology. Huh. Builds a Daedric center. A Daedric? What? Whoa. Drawer and sword on the. Uh, <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, excuse me. I didn't have time to take my mic off. <laughs> Alright, well that happened. <laughs> also, I noticed they changed Savan's voice. Well, not his voice, but his, uh, his name. <laughs> Something derby. What's our next move? If it'll help us get moving quicker. So let's see if sure. I can change Mr. Sir's helmet. Let's see, the danger one is the dog guard. I'm not aware of that, are you? If he does, that'd be cool. Then I can see his face. No, oh, nothing. Alright, how about this then? Huh? You like some dragon scale? Huh? Nope. Alright, he doesn't even like that. What a picky son of a bitch. Alright, how about, uh. Elven? You like some elven? No. Maybe. I have so much inventory right now. I don't think my inventory has ever been a million. I have still nothing. What about a forsworn headdress? You like this? Huh? Nope. Uh, for a helmet? I wonder if this has anything to do with survival mode. Yeah, anything that uh, I give it to my followers, so I don't think I want to keep on right now, because this kind of sort of gets rid of my inventory just a tad. So yeah, whatever I pass to these guys, they can stay on them. Uh, I, don't, I don't care much right now. I think I did that with a couple of these guys already. Yep, he's still not putting my shit on. Hmm. Or about an Imperial Hood. I think I might just have to upgrade this stuff and then he would wear it. I think if I go to the workbench, I'd have my smithing up. I'd be fine. I guess what's happening? Nothing. <laughs> Alright, so uh, do we have a good helmet, maybe? What about this one, huh? Like, like some iron helmet? Huh? Maybe. Would you give it a chance? No. No, he's not even wearing that. What the fuck? Man, what a dick. <laughs> Alright, well, what about a motherfucking Nordic helmet? One of the best helmets in the game. So this is very close to, like, default Daedric. Because usually, sometimes Nordic stuff tends to be better than even the, um, like, Orcish and even Ebony. Daedric, even. I've seen, I've seen the Nordic set do some pretty good defense before. 
but so far all I'm seeing is a disappointment. So what do you? All right, well, what about a Stalrim helmet? Would this be legendary enough for you? Would this make you happy? And now, uh, what about Stalrim light armor? Hmm. Would this make you happy? You a happy boy? No. Yes, maybe. Hey, there we go. About time. Bitch ass. Uh, let's see. So this one's 21. This one's 23. Uh, let's see. I wonder if we can put a Stormcloak helmet. There should be a Stormcloak fur helmet thing somewhere. Just as soon as armor, torturer's hood. Do you like torturer's hood? I mean, you're a sick individual. I mean, he, he's, he's a pretty wild follower. He, he might like it. No. Wow, I didn't even put that on. What an ass. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you for right behind you. changing a little bit. Thanks. Yeah. I think I'm going to stick to the Daedric armor, though. That's pretty cool. I mean, Stalrim's cool, but you know, it just seems too bright. And uh, the thing I have with my eyes, Saranda's eyes, and uh, just my personality. I like dark shit. Anything dark just like sh I wonder what became of Saint Geo. I met him once, you know. <laughs> Here's one thing I noticed though with a uh, good old uh, what's his face? Uh, what's his name? Teldrin. Teldrin is a old man, somewhat. He, uh, I don't really see him do too much. Oh, I mean, I do too much. I, uh, need something? Oh, yeah, I was, did I, really? You're telling me this stuff reset? Are you shitting me? I've been trying so hard to take everything from this place. I need to do that to me. How much this chest be reset, too? It's probably because of my other mods. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, that's empty. Good. All right. All right. I, I can deal with that. Yep. But yeah, we'll go to every room and do everything. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? All right. So let's put the ring of uh, open everything on. Because there's going to be a lot of areas not filled up properly. And, uh, yep. Also, I'm glad that we have some extra rings because I'll be able to put enchantments on that later. So, we'll try to hold on to those. This way I can super stack my right, so ring of unlocking. Nice. You know, the necromancy ring is helpful too, but I do want to get the loot from some of these guys. So, hit unlock. Thank you very much. Also, I think there's some of those fancy um, floating things. I wonder if they give you like a certain buff, or maybe you're supposed to jump up to it or something. I don't know. Oh, this place again. I'm pretty sure there's some enemies to fight. Last time I checked. Well, this will be interesting. Because <laughs> uh, I got some better weapons now. We're not all too strong, but... I'm certainly capable. Oh shit. Damn, that does like no damage. Oh man. <laughs> shit. Let's turn survival mode off. Let's get my, uh, my power up. Yeah. I understand that. Come on. Oh, maybe I can do a sneak attack damage. This stuff always stacks. Okay, sneak. Nice. I think this is stuff that enhances your sneak too, which is nice. So add my damage. Awesome. I need this. Nice. Hapa. Do another one. Hapa. <laughs> I like how 
just stand in there menacingly. Just letting us kill him. <laughs> Doink. I forget what kind of secret was in here, but it was certainly something. I just don't remember what. We also have that other mod for faster leveling, so we can just stack all these skills really quick. I still want to use the leveling swords, so I'll probably keep them on me, if anything. I'll just try to make sure I don't sell them. I'm down to sell like the alchemy and shit once we get everything to 100. But smithing, on the other hand, or alchemy, I guess, I could definitely, uh, I would rather have alchemy uh, off and be able to reset, because uh, I don't use that too often. Smithing is more important, I don't want to have to re redo my skills every time. But Alchemy does have a couple of special resistances, if I remember. Let me actually take a look. Let's get my skills. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's check it out. Smithing. Should be around here somewhere. Let's do Archery for now. Or not, never mind. Sneak. Uh huh. Nice. Yeah, I think speech has been checked out, maybe. Oh, never mind. Nice. And do this. Nice. So, can water stolen because with any merchant, nice. I'm gonna invest in everybody. Nice. Nice, let's see. Alchemy should be coming up soon. I'll say I passed it. Ah, here we go, yeah. This is potion of poison. Poisons you mix that restore health are powerful. Potions applied to weapons last 20 time. Eating an ingredient reviews to first hand. Three resents all poisons. Oh, okay, so that's the only thing. All negative effects are removed from created potions, and all positive effects are removed from created poisons. Oh. So now it's like poisons would just help you. Uh, I'm sure you can probably drink poison from this. Hey. That's kind of useful, especially if you're low on potions. I mean, it would be like you're just drinking water. Kind of like how in real life you were to be res resistant to poisons. Uh, you could, you know, use the poison as substance, I guess. And you'd be like, alright, you know, it doesn't hurt me, but I mean, I do need something in my stomach, so... Yeah, ta-da, we have this. Good enough, right? Because, I mean, if I had a choice of dying of thirst versus, um, you know, actually surviving, I'd probably go, yeah, give me, give me the poison. Let me, let me drink that shit. It'll probably taste horrible, but... Since that stuff doesn't hurt me anymore, just give me it. No, you probably couldn't drink it right away, but... Yeah, I'm a trained professional. Give me that shit. Also, we are missing him. Alright, there we go. Aim for the chest, I say. I remember that being a rule when I used to play uh, Nazi zombies a lot in Call of Duty. And not the, like, Black Ops. A lot of people overhyped that one. I like the original, like, you know... War of War zombies. You know, fuck all the other remakes. Or continuations, I should say. Because they're pretty fucking lame. Also, why is there a dog man? That's weird. Uh, oh, it's a man on a horse. <laughs> I said dog man. I'm like, yeah, there's a guy person. Wow. Uh, also, I think I muted the music. So that, that's probably why it was so quiet. I think I was listening to music earlier. That's why it's all weird. Yep. yep. Ah, fancy house music. Not really too fitting, but fair enough. I guess it's because we're inside of a uh, player-based thing. So, I mean, they probably think it's a player home. Which kind of makes sense because it somewhat is, but not really. Also, I'm pretty sure this place is littered with a couple more hostiles, so... I have to be careful. Yeah. 
We may have a lot of power right now, but we don't have enough. Yep, here we are. Alright, now what to do about this? I think I can sneak around and bring you to a better shot. But I'm pretty sure he can, uh, he can come up here. And if he does, I don't know if we can fight him. We'll do it anyway. So far now, all these guys have been sitting still, so that's cool. Yeah, just keep on doing my powers, man. Just sit perfectly still for me, alright? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's on the, <laughs> on the bridge. Oh, where's the other guy at? Here. Shit, there's the other guy. <laughs> I didn't even notice him. Freaky. Alright, so speech is 100 now. Uh, I think sneak is probably important, but we still need archery up. Yep, I can do that. So this means I can hurt this guy just a wee bit better. Mm -hmm. So let's get to it. Must have been a win. Bonk. Gotta have a better bow somewhere. I don't really need the uh oh shit he's moving. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, let me see. Demetric bow. Do we have like a super oh, we got the dragon bone arrows, which is nice. Uh, let's keep looking for a better bow. So this one does burns target. So how is that better I wonder? That's just twenty-three. This one says thirty-seven. Keep looking for bows. If something says more than 37, I'll take it. Let's see. 10, 23. Oh, here we go. 40. Oh, man. More than 37. More than 34. Oh, hello. Let's see. Uh, nope. More than 37. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything better than that, but yeah. It is what it is. Oh, what's that 700 thing? Oh, it's a mace. Some bitch. Some Lord Hero. Let's see, 25 now. It has some special soul gem stuff, but that's not too great. <sighs> that's a local spell now. Look for 37 and up. I'm pretty sure the Daedric one is probably the best weapon you got. Yeah. Unless so we find like a modded bow, which we don't have. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? My man's a ninja. Haha. -ha. Nice. Ha. This is. Yep, you just, you just stay there and look real pretty as I shoot you. Yep. Just, just stay there. You're way stronger than me, and if I can kill you like this, I would love to. So, uh, yeah, people frown upon the stealth archer, and I'm a type that just doesn't care. I'm a mercer fray, bro. I will use any means to kill my target. At least until we get strong enough to just not give a shit. Which, you know, we're gonna clear out all of Aladon's armory. So this way I can go through other dungeons with massive power. And I'll probably try to put on all the god rings too. I don't really have to, but... Oh, I'm down to st stack my effects. Son of a bitch. There we go, finally. Jesus. I still don't know where the other guy went. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Let's just 
head on down. Venturito Macho Dorito. Oh man. They uh they aren't too nice when they made this place, were they? <laughs> um, but yep, since that fight kinda lasted a while, I don't really want to do that again. So we'll quick save. Thank you very much. As I was saying though, you know, people were frowned upon a stealth archer, but you know, like I said, we have yet to get those rings to make my level go up. And we're only like what level twenty-four? And we're not the same level as my other guys. But uh the goal is to ascend myself. So I will get as much power as possible. Yep. And eventually if I do have more room on my PlayStation, I might uh try to get the special uh Skyhaven mod. Or Skyhaven I mean. Because it's pretty fucking cool. Also let me see something. Is is there more than one entrance here? So I mean you got this crazy house looking thing. Is, is there two places to go to? What is this? Why oh, is it just a house? Oh shit. There's a major mess there, so Yep, I, I think we are supposed to go this way. Yep. Oh, how nice. Oh, they got the Dark Brother Sanctuary door. And who is that man? I kinda wonder if I can shoot that. Is that an actual person? Oh that would have been funny shit. I would have been like, how oh, many of Speaking of what's an actual person, that's not a person either. It's the uh, figurine from the. Yeah. But, yeah. Cool. Let's do this. And it would be cool though if they had like a genuine upside down world. Let's see what we got. So, is there finally no enemies nearby? This is a big world of power. Got me all in the jumps, man. A lot of your little friends were kind of hostile, bro. Got me all jumpy. There's nothing in that. I don't think there's anything else here, I believe. We just have Mr. Sir. Yeah. So I imagine I'll have to go back. Need something? Ah. Uh, of course. Let me see what you got. I'm still here. Of course. What do you, what do you got? Whoa, I can give so many ammo. 180 seconds. Revive Soul Staff. Reanimate a very powerful one dead. And there's a test. Huh. Interesting. I'll probably give that to some followers. Neat. And that's a powerful one dead body, too, not to mention. I'm heading home if you need me. Yeah. We should probably do that, though, but everyone would be. We'll tell them to follow us and then we'll. Azura's take, we'll take wisdom. Shit. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I saw any other door here, sadly. Yeah, so I'm, I guess we'll have to backtrack. But I can, it'll, it'll be hard because I'm over and covered out the ass. But yeah, it's uh, it's part of my part of my sacrifice. Yes, I do want to see if maybe I could just jump out of here or something. Maybe it will teleport me to a uh, a better spot. Because most of these modders don't focus on how they do their structures per se. Also, is that an actual house? Hang on a minute. Now, if I had the float up ability, I'm yes. going to go check this out. Oh, it's just black. Yeah, it was just pitch black. Damn. <laughs> that would have been cool though. I would be like, whoa, look at that. Oh, that would have been awesome. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Uh, but yep, I believe we can exit through this way. Because I will climb up these couple rocks here and then we'll hold Roy. Like, as long as we spam triangle, I should be good. So it's just like when you do a horse riding, yep. Like, also, it matters where your camera's facing to. Oh shit. Damn it. Come on, dude. Get out there. Yep, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Perfect, dude. So let's go see how this works, shall we? That yeah, might will hop off. Now, if I had that crate items thing, that'd be great, but... 
Yeah, I was going to see where I teleported to. Oh, they put me all the way back here. That's nice. I just gave myself a shortcut. Awesome. <laughs> hey. I kind of want to see what happens if we fall off here, too. Despite, you know, it being the, uh, the next area. So let's go see what happens. There seems to be a jump off spot here. Is this some kind of secret? No. Alright. We let's go see where they take me. Ah, uh, they put me back here again. Assholes. Alright, so be it. I still wish they would kill you or something. It would have been a lot more impressive. <sighs> oh well. Yeah, fast travel. Yee. Yeah. Also, I should go check my books. I still want to see if I have any special rings, but I just want to see if maybe I have any books. Spell tome, soul to animate. That's that's all. Oh shit. Also oh, this is some of the uh other Creation Club DLC stuff. Interesting. Seducers and Saint Camp. I did not know that they would have a banning camp out of all the things. So this must mean why my game was crashing because I have so many other uh special shit then banish. Huh. Oh shit. And then here's the uh special mercenary lady who comes to kill us. Kevin's note. So eventually my plan is once since I read all of these, I could probably sell most of this now. Which is nice. So if I find a merchant, I'll probably sell my books first. <laughs> At least until we find more books. So yeah. I think if I had an orcus name, my name would be a more book. Yeah, because the books are pretty cool. They give you skill points, they let you know. Fox semester. They, they, they let you know special locations and shit. Also, I can't just knock it off my papers and shit. Asshole. I, I know he likes to sleep on tables where I keep my my food and where I do a lot of stuff too. But still, come on, man. Are you serious? How how am I supposed to do this? Wow. Is this is not for the over encumbered. Eh. Eh. No. It's not fair. Do, do I have anything I can do? I guess I'm kind of like sending myself up into the air. Anything. Really wish I had that power right now. <sighs> if I had the the ring to teleport to, that'd be sweet. So let's go see where this takes us then. Really? You piece of shit. All the way back over here again. What the fuck? I I, I can't leave. I got too much loot. Do I have to install a fucking carry weight mod? You know, fucking 10 million of this shit? I mean, I gotta have some kind of ring of carry weight, right? I mean, come on. I'm not dropping this shit, man. I'm not. Stupid. And I mean, sure, I could maybe get like a follower and be like, Yeah, can you hold all this stuff? D, ha, ha, ha. You know, funny, funny bitch fuck. Another thing we could do too, and I can see if this works. Uh, I don't know how to do it, but supposedly in the default game we can take a basket, which I don't think we have. And we could probably do it with a different item, but probably something big like this bowl here or this straw. I think we could do it with a straw. You're supposed to hold it, hold it underneath you, and then you jump. Well, I thought so. Shitting me. Really? Alright, how about this then? Wasn't like you, know, you had to get really, really close to it and then you hold it up. Oh my god, this sucks. 
Like, it doesn't even count as like an actual thing. And I, I think I need to... Wait, let me see something. There's something I want to test. Like if I have a shield down on the ground, can I actually just walk over it? Or is it... Oh, fuck off. Where is the shield? There we go, iron shield. Alright. So do I walk over it or do I not? Because the, the biggest problem about this though is just the fact that, you know, we're kind of stuck. Especially because of this shit. Really wish I had the structure mod that I'd be able to fucking do shit right now. But guess what? We fucking can't. I'm over encumbered. Come on, dude. I don't think there's any way I can get up this. Fucking bitch. Oh, if I was just a little bit taller, I'd be good. And I'm a Nord. If I was in Pura, it'd be even harder. Fuck's sake. I really don't want to do this. I guess I don't have a choice. I will have to drop everything too heavy. Goodbye, steel ingot. Goodbye, stalrim. Goodbye, solid metal ore. Yeah, I guess all this stuff can burn in hell. <laughs> it's too much anyway, so... Okay. Way too much. Hey, look at my care weight, man. It's shit really changes when we do this. Right, it's just a lot of soul gems in that. I kind of want to only keep the best soul gems with me, but I think my care weight is kind of a problem. So, yeah, I can always buy better soul gems. You know, it's not that hard to do. And I'm sure soul gems won't really matter when I start getting my super armor stuff. So that should be fine. Drop on. Let's wait for my shit to register a little bit. See, so, yeah, I have no idea where that stuff is gonna go. And if it reappears above me, that'd be great. But it's probably gone forever. Damn, that's why we're not doing anything too important. <laughs> oh man, I might have even got the hard stones too. At least, well, that weighs one. That, oh, I should have weighed ten thousand in total. Fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Well, we can always farm hard stones from uh, Solstein. If, if you can get an item from this mod, you can get it in the game, so... It's not that, not that hard to do actual work. You know, plus I'm always killing stuff anyway, so... Yeah, I'm a massive looter. Hi, Sebastian, you need your food? Good boy. Sucks. Welcome to my life, I understand. These dragon bones probably weigh a shit ton. <laughs> Cause like even just having fifty of them like makes you over encumbered. Jeez. Holy soul gems. Holy everything in fact. Black gems, fucking everything. Too much. And uh once we get through all this, I wonder if there's any armors I have that increase my carry weight or anything really. Just enchantments, you name it. If I can put on like a whole set of armor that can at least give me like a thousand or ten thousand, I can at least save a good bit of loot and not force myself to just deal with the oh look at us for 375, you know. This means I can carry maybe ten thousand worth of loot or something. You know, just just give me something bro. Just let me walk away with some pride. Because uh, I really have to be able to jump this. Yep, so that's just about everything. And I think the rest of this is we just have way too many ingredients now, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is way too much. Oh, my God. Yep, so we'll get rid of all this. I wish there was a drop-all option. Like, what, where, where is this stuff, man? Fuck off. This is ridiculous. 
like the, even the armor weighs quite a bit too so I mean I think was this said and done I probably have like 3,000 worth of items maybe something oh man this sucks and this is like every type of uh, alchemy too so I mean I could have really leveled my shit with this but I mean we're gonna encounter the leveling room anyway so I'm not even sure if it matters doing this I still want to obtain every recipe don't get me wrong so in the future I will kill everything and research because my end game goal was to be as strong as possible and know everything so I'm a little bit Hermaeus Mori. Yep. But I'm also Shio Gorath while we do it. I like cheese. Let's see. And I would do that a lot louder if it wasn't like fucking 10 at night. This looks like blood. The new Skyrim is Bloodborne. Also, some people were asking me about uh, playing Skyrim on uh, PS5. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's cool and all, but maybe the PlayStation 5 has more memory. <laughs> I mean, if it does, then cool. Like if I, if I if I play around with it and I see that it does, then cool. Or maybe I can have multiple applications more instead of just four or five, and then my PlayStation's full. So that's usually how it is. I download like four or five games and then my shit's just destroyed. But with the way that today's games are, like I download two games and the third one is too much. But in the past though, I had DC Universe, Destiny, Assassin's Creed Unity, Bloodborne. You know, I had a bunch of games on my system and I was planning on getting more. You know, I was just going to download like a maniac. But then I quickly realized that as time went on, the same PlayStation went from, like, overpowered to, like, it can't do anything now. So. Man, what? What is it? You're lucky I'm doing shit, but I can do brainless, Sylvester. Yep. You guys sharing my pain yet? <laughs> I just want to be free from this fucking world, man. Let's, uh, let's wait for myself to drop first, though. Yep, goodbye, massive amounts of loot. I'll miss you. I just hope that it pops up at the entrance or something. And I just fall forever. Who knows? But lucky for us, though, this is just, you know, crafting material. It's not like, oh, this is the most rare sword in the game, or you know, something crazy like that. I'm sure that there's a couple enchanted items that I've already sold that are like super rare. So some people may hate me for that. They'd be like, dude, you just sold the Daedric Dagger of Humiliation. Why'd you do that? Like, well, I don't like it. I like a bow. And I don't want a bow that makes people run away. I want a bow that can kill people. I don't care about frenzy or poison damage. Or, oh, damage is stamina. Like, give me something that damages health. If it does health and stamina, maybe I'll take some of it. Yeah, I'm down. Also, notice how my inventory is so much faster in reaction time now. <laughs> Look at that. Fucking speed. Dropping all of this stuff was such a good idea. Alright, so now we're down to. Oh, oh, shit. Did my game just crash? Oh, shit. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, should I AFK on my phone, maybe? I don't know. Oh boy. I'm worried for my safety. I probably should not have dropped all that. And I think for certain, uh, alchemy items, sometimes they don't drop in like 10,000 stack, even though they say it does. And I think a lot of these things around me are just eyeballs that are just fucking spammed. Uh, but yep, I'll see you guys next oh, oh, uh, step in something. Uh, I'll see you guys next episode. I'm gonna try to either wait for this or I'm gonna try to like do something else maybe. Uh, I'm gonna try to AFK for a good like 10-15 minutes and if that doesn't work, 
I'm going to come back here and reload my save. So in the meantime, thank you for joining. Thanks for dealing with my suffering. And I, I hope it was fascinating. This is what it's like when you have mods. So, peace.